Hey guys, welcome back to Twist and Shout. And I have a beneficial video for you guys today. As you may or may not know, um, the stores are pretty much empty. Like people are gravitating towards all the essentials that you need for survival. And in particular, uh, one of the biggest things that you cannot find save your life is germits or hand sanitizer. And reason being because um, the coronavirus is, is person to person contact. So the key is to, you know, kill germs and kill germs as regularly as possible. If you can't make it to, because we all know the best thing to do, please, if you can, wash your hands with warm water and soap. That is the best thing to do. However, when you're on the go, you're in the car, you're on the job, you know, you might can't just keep running back and forth to the bathroom to wash your hands. But I have a solution for you guys. You may go in the store and say, hey, there's no germs. I'm doomed. No, you're not. But before I actually get into all of that, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like, share, tell a friend. But what I'm going to do for you guys today, I'm going to show you guys how to make a DIY hand sanitizer. So without further ado, I'm just going to go ahead and get into this because that's what y'all came here for anyway, right? All right. So first things first, you need a container. And before y'all get at me, because I see that these type of containers, like the traveling size things, are pretty much bought up too. But listen, you have to have something at home. I don't know. It's spray bottle. This one came from Walmart. This is from um, Family Dollar. They in Dollar Tree. Um, doesn't have to be this size. Even if you have to go big, I don't know, um, like a container like this. Like anything that you can clean and make sure, you know, it's pretty much, you don't know, clean it with soap and water, dish water, whatever, and make sure it's dry before you put your content in. Anything like that will work. Um, if you're a DIY queen like myself, you got something. And especially if you're a natural person, where you do natural hair and you do DIY content, you got something laying around that you can use. Anything. Old perfume bottles. Something. Or something you don't mind pouring down the drain. Something that, I don't know, you didn't like anyway. So it's like, hey, let me. I got to use this bottle. Because right now, hand sanitizer is more important than anything that could have been in that bottle. But anyway, moving right along. In this case, we're going to use a spray bottle because I have kids. And we just need to be as convenient as possible. So just a small container like this. And like I said, the size does not matter because actually you guys, um, this is an old soap or soap dispenser um, bottle. I'm going to use this to make like a family size one. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to show you guys in this bottle. And before I, you know, show you ingredients and stuff, please understand there are multiple avenues to this. So I'm going to show you what I have and what I'm going to use. Um, first things first, you're going to need some peroxide. Now, believe it or not, peroxide um, is one of those things that I went in the store and I still see. Like, there's plenty of it. And I'm talking like Family Dollar, Dollar General, Walmart, um, Dollar Tree, the supermarkets. Everybody is bypassing the peroxide. And if you don't know about peroxide, you better get some and keep some in your house, especially if you have kids. Okay. But anyway... Like I said, we're working on real small content here. And I'm going to try my best to do this without making a mess. But your first ingredients, and I'm trying to do this from least to greatest content in your um, mixture here. So you're going to need about, I don't know, like, oh, like a tenth, fifth, fourth, something like that. Something very small. Very small amount. So I'm just going to put some more in here. And I'm going to show you guys. How much in a second? Just give me a second. I should have leveled this out on my table, right? But um, about this much. Not a lot. About, what is that, about one fourth? I don't know. I suck at math. But yeah, that's how much of that you can put in there. And I'm going to go to this one. And this one is optional. But again, if you're a DIY person or you are a natural person, you have a lot of essential oils. And there's a lot of essential oils in particular that are antifungal, that kill bacteria and germs. And tea tree is one of them. And this is also in Walmart. This is like six bucks. But again, I already had this, so I didn't have to buy it. And I've been having this for almost half a year, and there's a lot in here. So I'm just going to put like, I don't know, about six or seven drops in here. Not a lot, because a little goes a long way, and it's very potent. And again, it can be peppermint, um, tea tree, ylang, -ylang um, eucalyptus. The list goes on. It's a lot of them you can choose, and you just do your research, and you'll find a perfect one for you. Um, my next ingredient is aloe vera. Now, this is for, this is another optional. Um, a lot of online um, ingredients lists will say distilled water. 
but in this case um you want something nice and smooth and kind of you know you can kind of maneuver around your hand nice and smoothly and water are kind of just like ah eh. but the point is you want it to work so either one is fine but i had this of course i have water but i'm gonna use aloe vera and it's good for your skin so yeah and with this it's gonna be probably about the same amount as the peroxide and before I get any further, I just want you guys to understand that, yes, alcohol, which is the next um, ingredients, plays the biggest role in this. And you know, um, alcohol comes in different percentages. You have 70, 50, 91 is the highest, which you'll see on the internet, they say 91. But understand that people kind of got a little smart. They do know alcohol kills germs and bacteria, so they have bought up all of that. But in my case, I was able to get some just in time. And I also had some here because, first of all, my husband's an EMT. And we have a lot of kids, so yeah, we had the big, the big container. And lucky for us, we barely used any, so we got a whole one. So I'm just gonna put some of this in here, and this is gonna almost finish the bottle, as you can see. And I have 70%, so that will actually give you an idea about hmm, how much of my mixture should actually be the alcohol. 70 cent or above, you want to have at least a third amount, not a lot. You don't need a lot because it's very potent. If you have anything less than that of course you're gonna go more and last but not least um you want to have a nice good consistency and we have here aloe vera gel now i would say that um and i'm just gonna do as many pumps until it looks like it's kind of filling up to the point where i need to stop okay that should do it i don't know if you can see it you can kind of see the gel kind of play around in there and i'm gonna put my top on here and you want to leave enough room to shake it up. Now, um, like I said, optional is the aloe vera juice. So if you want to do majority, because a lot of companies went completely gel and gel and alcohol in a tad bit of aloe vera juice to kind of make it simple and probably affordable for them. But the texture and the consistency is up to you. Mind you, I have a spray bottle. So I don't want a lot of gel in this. Now, when I make... Um, the bulk size for my family this is probably gonna be half gel because it's gonna be the you know the push down suspenser so it's gonna be like that but as you can see it's gonna when it settles down it's a little foggy and cloudy but that's understood especially because of the tea tree but here is some DIY hand sanitizer I just saved your life so don't panic don't go in the store crying don't don't worry the workers like when y'all get some hand sanitizer make your own and a lot of these things is what I don't know. This was like a dollar fifty, I believe. Peroxide is eight eight cents. This is two bucks. Um, this is three bucks if I'm not mistaken. Like I said, this is the optional. You can use distilled water or you can use purified filter water. It doesn't matter. It's up to you. And the tea tree, like I said, is optional. Um, it can be any essential oil. This one's probably gonna be the cheapest to find and the easiest to find. But like I said, that's completely 100 percent optional you do not have to have that but it helps so when i had it so i used it but i'm um, trying to make sure is that everything oh i guess you guys you want a demonstration that will probably be the best thing to do so i'm just gonna as you can see it sprays a mist it actually sprays out and i can actually and it actually smells good that's another thing too if you're using um gels like the aloe vera gel, it's going to smell good and it feels so smooth, y'all. And it just, I just feel like I just killed a gazillion germs. But thank you guys. God bless you guys. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to like, share, tell a friend. Let somebody know because this could actually save somebody's lives, y'all. We know this coronavirus is getting serious. It's getting tense. But do not worry. There's ways around anything. And in all things. And all things give thanks. Just give thanks that you're alive right now and that you're well. And like I said, share this with someone because you could change somebody's life. Especially people with kids or the elderly. Like you never know what somebody could need or use.